In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing an exponential function and its asymptote f of x equals b to the negative x, or f of x equals negative b to the x, or f of x equals negative b to the negative x. And for this example, we have this last case here where we have a negative, the value b, being raised to the negative x. And since we're asked to graph by finding five points on the graph and then drawing the asymptote, as in other examples, I'm going to create a table here. I'm going to substitute five values in for x. I like to start with zero. If I replace x with zero, we would have our five-fourths raised to the zero power. And following our order of operations, we would want to resolve any exponents first. So leaving that negative on the outside, the 5 fourths raised to the 0 power would just be 1. So the opposite of that being negative 1, we would start with the point 0, negative 1. And then I can substitute in a positive 1. And here replacing x with 1 gives us that negative 1 exponent. Resolving the negative portion of the exponent, I could take the reciprocal of 5 fourths, which is 4 fifths, raised to the first power would still be 4 fifths. With the negative in front, I have the value x equals 1, y equals negative 4 fifths, so just a shade less than negative 1. Moving to x equals 2, f of 2 would mean replacing x with a 2, and since that power is negative, this would be our 4 fifths raised to the positive 2, which again, leaving the negative outside, would be 16 25ths, negative 16 25ths, which again is less than negative 1. To substitute in a couple of negative values, I would start with x equals negative 1, and notice that this substitution, replacing x with negative 1, would give me the opposite of negative 1 as the exponent. So a positive 1, once simplified, would give me a negative 5 fourths. So we have the point negative 1, negative 5 fourths. Negative 5 fourths is 1 and a fourth, so negative 1 and a fourth. Moving next to x equals negative 2 gives us a negative of negative 2 exponent, which simplifies to a positive 2. Leaving the negative on the outside is a 25 over 16. So negative 25 over 16 is not quite negative 2. And we can sort of see that this is going to start to stretch further and further with larger negative numbers. And as I put in larger positive numbers, this is going to get closer and closer to 0. So my asymptote is going to be y equals 0. 